Tamala here from Creative Moms Decant. So I took a walk today as the weather's getting nice. I love getting out, but I realized with spring here, it's getting muddy. So I need a new rug for my back door. Let's head on into the craft room and get started. All right, so to make the natural spray paint rug, I am going to test the cardstock method today. So we're going to run this through the machine here. I just made a simple design in Design Space. I used two different letter styles, so a cursive and a bold. And I'm so we're testing fate with with our design today. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut. The Cricut Maker 3 really does do a nice job and it really does cut quickly. And I did a big barn because I wanted it to stand out and be bold. All right, now to get this off the mat, we're going to remove the entire piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to kind of work to keep it together. Obviously, I'm having a friend join here. Hi, Phoenix. So sometimes using the spatula kind of helps get things off the mat. And then you just need to get your design ready to be laid out. I love that little kitty cat. All right, let's do that. All right, so we're going to use a natural rug today. It's 18 by 30. It's just a coral doormat. And then we're going to use some pins and some masking tape. And here is our cardstock template. And I'm just going to use the masking tape to tape it down here. I got to find the end of this. Goodness. Okay. So we're just going to tape this down really good on all the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the rug completely to the edge down here in the corner. And Just keep covering. You want to make sure it's flat. I think I've got a little bit of wrinkle in here, so I'm going to stretch that out just a little bit. And the pins are going to help us lay this down, we hope. I'm hoping that cardstock is an affordable way for us trying to sell crafts. I think that this would make making rugs a little more affordable. So I'm going to continue with pins here and pin down all the edges, and I'm going to get my letters arranged to, so that they're ready for pinning down got all my pins down and the letters for sweet were just too delicate I feel for the pins so I am going to try some Krylon easy tack and see how that works so I sprayed the back of it I sprayed it off camera because if you've ever used this stuff like my fingertips are sticky it's really sticky so I just sprayed it and then I'm making sure all of this is down. And then I'm going to cover a little further out. And because I want to show you all this, I'm going to cover my entire surface. And then we'll meet back to spray paint this. All right, so everything's covered and here we go. All right, no time like the present. Let's see how we did. So you will need to decide what you want to do with these stick pins. Um, they are gonna be sticky, so like I don't wanna put those back into my um, pin cushion. I couldn't think of that name. Here we oh my gosh, those look so good. So good. All right, let's do the sweet. I really am not confident here. Too fine. It's not as bad as I thought. It's just too fine. 
The rest of this really turned out great. So for big, bold designs, use the cardstock. Let me ponder what to do. You know, I've used puff paint before. Let me clean this mess up and maybe I'll pull out some puff paint. I have a rug with puff paint. My rug with puff paint has held up beautifully. I just bought a pack a while back for some Dollar Tree rugs and it's they are still amazing. I think it was a complete win, especially because we are an orange Ellis Chalmer farm family. So I am in love with it. I think it turned out so super cute. Ah! This rug turned out so super cute. It's very simple with cardstock. Even though I cut my letters too thin, I absolutely love how the puff paint turned out. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a joyful day. Bye, friends.